All right, guys, it is Monday. That means it's Joe's All-Star Tool Monday. And like always, Mr. Faithful is here. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. What another great day. Thank you, guys. Thanksgiving's this week. What yep. a great week. Now, normally, my kids say, I don't know what, they're making me work today and tomorrow because they're coming down tomorrow night, Wednesday. Because otherwise, I'd been already up north because I would have left Saturday. Yep. So, they're making me work today. I don't know. <laughs> it's my birthday today. I should oh. not be working. So, what are you, 20, time, 21 today? First time I ever get sad. I don't, be, I don't even think that old. Come on. <laughs> My wife says I act like a kid. You got to be at least 21 because you'll, you'll indulge in a few tell, adult beverages. I tell you, uh, do I act like a kid enough? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, tell you, there's a bunch of them that can't keep up with what things that I do. But anyways. There you go. Um, well, you're looking all snazzy today. You got your Packers yeah, shirt on. Packers. Tennessee both won. I mean, come yeah. on. It was a great weekend. Oh, yeah. Um, speaking of weekend, it was opening deer season. I like to hunt. Yep. Um, and I had a chance to stock six does a couple different times in my field. Without them not, with them not knowing I was there. And then it was getting the end of the day. And where I live, you got to understand, I live in Dodge. Dodge, and we, we'll, we'll talk about that another day, but I expect this at the end of hunting season, not first day. Uh-oh. So, end of the, it's getting the end of the day, and all of a sudden, I know it's one of my other fields, I I know there's some deer over there, I gotta go see what, what's over there, so I very quietly, very stoutly, get over there, they don't know I'm there, there's two bucks there. Uh-oh. Now they're nice little eight-pointers, they're only like maybe two or three years old. They're not ready to be, they're just lookers. Right yep. now they need to grow. And if people would not shoot them right away, they could turn out to be very nice exactly. wall hangers. And they taste good too. I mean, you gotta <laughs> use everything, you know, be like an I Indian, you know, every little part of them, you know, keep the fur. But anyways, so I'm just looking at them. It's getting the end of the day. I'm just, you know, glad I get to see something with horns at the same time. You know, it was a good day. I got to sneak up on some does, sneak up on a couple bucks. But all day, well, the last couple hours, I'm watching this white pickup truck slowly drive up the road one way, and later come slowly going the other way, mm. back and forth. Well, road poachers. <laughs> exactly. They come, they slowly pull up there. Now, they don't know I'm right there. And when they stop, I wait for doors to open. And I yell out so so loud, you better not shoot. I mean, I was as loud as could be. I must have scared them shitless. Yeah, I, I should that have been That truck never now. moved that fast on that road the whole day. <laughs> and I, they never came back. And I didn't see them Sunday either. So um, it worked. It, it takes that. Yep. It, it, and it should not. No, nope. it That's should true. not take that. End of season, I see guys doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and the worst part is, two guys I caught, they have hundreds of acres to hunt of their own land, and they want to go and hunt on my little piece of land. It's they like, don't want to kill their deer, they want to kill your deer. It's like, That's what it is. And they probably killed theirs too, but <laughs> there's no reason to be doing that. That's right. But anyways, Thanksgiving's coming up, and I hope everybody realizes if they're here, how grateful they gotta be for every little bit. Absolutely. Um, we have so much to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. I could take a whole lot more time on that. But let's talk about Mr. Jeffrey Rupp, because I have oh, five of these smokes. here for him. Sometimes it looks like six, you know, yep. but Jeffrey Rupp, Kansas City farmer. There you now go. that man, he works. He probably has his knows where his deer are hanging out. They're used to him being out there. He don't have to sneak. He just, you know, but um, anyways, so it's getting the colder time of the year. Yep. I got the uh, Milwaukee heated jackets and get all different. They come in black, red, gray, camouflage. 
I have my camouflage one, but mm -hmm. haven't eaten it yet. Yep. It's been kind of nice. Thankfully. Warm yet, yes. So I got these. Um, so is that the kit and it comes with a three point a three, three point amp oh, battery? Three point oh battery. It comes with the the little inverter that's uh thing. That's where we can see. Yeah, right there it is. Yeah. So it's your power inverter, which also is your charger. It plugs in in the jacket, you know, like right back right. here. It's on your you hip, don't even sorta. know you're wearing it. And if you're wearing it a long time, <clears throat> there's a conversion piece to handle uh, 3.0 M18 flat batteries. You know, guys that work, you know, towing and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you know. You're going to be 12 plus hours outside and sure. bitter cold. This will work on the uh, keeping it on high because you got heat settings for the jacket, heat settings for the pockets, and they're incredible. They block wind, they block rain, and you can wash and wa and wash and dry them. There you go. Um, incredible jackets. I got something new from Maxion. Okay. Uh, Workstar light uh, visor. And, uh, I mean, there you got delivered to me when I, hmm. pretty bright. when I was leaving, but I got a few other things coming that's kind of new from them. And I'm probably going to have a couple of specials going on with, with Maxion. Okay. So, um, look forward to that because I'm kind of excited about uh, what's coming up. Cool. I have plenty of the Maki half and three eighths. Okay. 550 foot pounds breakaway torque. They're torquey little fellows, aren't right they? They're, they're amazed at the how strong they are. Yep. And I have one guy saying, man, he says, this is working so good, it's working so good. He says, and I got something that's like, Oh, it ain't that good. And then I look and it says, I'm only on two. It says, maybe I should turn it up to three. It says when he did. Yeah, it was a game changer. So there you guys can see the new ones. This is obviously the three eights. 550 foot pounds breakaway torque on them. That is absolutely nuts. To be that small. I mean, crazy. They, they get in tight places. One guy says, you know, his wrist getting sore, always carrying the half, the big half inch or the big three eighths. He says, that's a game changer right there. Yeah. Small, lightweight, gets the job done. Well, that's awesome. So. Cool deal. <clears throat> Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Give thanks to everybody you meet. Yeah. Um, you never know. You may help somebody and. That person may help somebody, and somebody's going to end up helping you. <laughs> it's a that great circle. It's a great yep. circle when it works that way. That's it. Rain Fixing drops. The rain. There you go. It's that time. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. Subscribe. It's free. There you go. All right, guys. If you need anything from Joe, his number's right down here at 731-412-7295. Shoot him a text because he's out here in the rain making a video just for you. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. It don't cost you anything to do that, and it helps a lot. You won't believe it. Hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.